Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back from Vegas! Yay! Which means I can go back to making videos. Oh man. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about Fago once again, because hey, there's an NA campaign that's coming. Uh, which is Melty Blood related. <laughs> After the previous video, when I was talking about the month upcoming, I said, hey, there's a Melty Blood thing here. Maybe there's gonna be a Melty Blood banner featuring Artoria? Which I thought was the one. Actually, I didn't know if it even came out. And then plenty of people told me it already came out. We're not getting that Melty Blood banner. Uh, cut to today. Uh, we're getting that Melty Blood banner, basically. So, let's talk about what's going on in this campaign, shall we? So, obviously, Evo's coming up pretty soon. So, what better way to have an excuse to have a Melty Blood banner than to literally just say, this is for Evo. Man, I really... I wonder if they're going to announce anything at Evo. It's, I, uh, you know, obviously if they were going to announce anything, it'd probably be new game, new characters for the game. Um, hmm, I wonder who they would even announce. Apparently there's still plenty of Melty Blood characters not in the game yet. They're not going to add Sion, because I think they've said that it's it takes place in the past and we can't have Sion in there. Which is dumb. It's very dumb. They should just put her in the game. But anyway... Uh, if I had any wish, it would uh, them for them to release to announce that they're just doing a Fago Fighter, so that I don't have to think about Melty Blood characters, and I can just get Fago characters on their own. But anyway, I digress. Melty Blood needs to be doing needs to do really well in order for there to be a Fago Fighter. So keep supporting it, keep playing it, and good luck to anyone out there who's going to Evo. Anyway, the campaign summary. Uh, if you don't know what Melty Blood is, it's a 2D fighting game. It's really good. And we're going to get some craft essences related to it. One with Mash, one with Dantes, and one with Ushiwakamaru, who are the three DLC characters from Fago. Technically speaking, Saber is from Fate itself, so I don't really count her as a Fago fighter. But these three are definitely Fago fighters. So we'll have Melty Blood type Lumina Evil Selection Celebration Quest, which will be able to also get the uh, Mash... Uh, right here uh this right here we'll be able to get her swimsuit outfits both of them should be pretty easy to get and then there'll also be a quest here that will let you get this c which is related to this and here's some screenshots from the game itself uh there will be a login bonus and that login bonus is where you'll get those three c's mash is the first dantes is the second and wushu wakamaru is the third i don't think there's anything else related to them at all just yep those three there's nothing really special about the UC other than they have really nice art on it. So, of course, for collecting purposes, I want to have them. Um, Celebration Quest, this is where you'll be able to get this one. It shouldn't be too hard. It already happened on JP, so you can just look at the event itself. Very easy. You just fight two Yakuza's, fight a bunch of them. It's an Artoria thing. It's really not anything. Really nothing <laughs> too crazy. Other than your mash has to be in the front lines. So maybe... Oh, and she also needs 200% MP charge? This is literally the easiest thing ever. You can easily get this Mystic Code. Um, not this Mystic Code. This uh, Craft Essence, no problem. Anyway. And yeah, here's uh, the free exchange. Ch change to free exchange dates. You'll be able to get the swimsuit. Perfect time for summer to get these two again. I wonder if they're going to get an, uh, when they're going to add a third swimsuit version of three. Should be interesting to see pretty soon on the JP side. Uh, yep, Mash does a bunch of things. A rank up, a rank up quest for Dantes is here, which is great. As a big fan of Dantes, they change his um, his second skill, which is the Golden Rule. And it changes into Treasure of the Monte, uh, the Monte Cristo. For some reason, I keep thinking of the sandwich. Treasure of Monte Cristo. Increases MP gain for three turns and increases MP gauge added and apply a state that removes one buff for one enemy during critical attacks. Three turns added for yourself. We can go over here real quick and we can look at uh, Avenger to get the actual values of it. That's right, he was our first Avenger. We can go right here. So here it is, Golden Reel previously, which is 50% MP generation rate. Uh, and then this changes so that it's still at 50% MP generation rate, but now it gets 30 MP as well. Uh, grant self on attack activation debuff for three turns, and it just removes the latest buff from enemies when critical attacking. This is a really nice buff. This makes him insanely good. The only thing that has always been a negative for Dantes, I've never run into it personally, but I also have a Kaleidoscope. 
so maybe it's a little bit different, but at MP level 1s he can kind of not deal enough damage to get the full 50% refund to go with Scotty. Um, so it can be a little bit a pain in the butt to, like, loop with him in some cases. Uh, especially if you don't have Kaleidoscope and you're not doing, like, the... If you don't have Kaleidoscope, it's kind of a pain to, um, loop with him a little bit, I'd say. And you have to kind of make a lot of concessions, and then sometimes he doesn't fully get the 50% MP back. Again, I have Kaleidoscope, so I never ran into that issue. Occasionally, I would run into an issue where he didn't deal enough damage at MP1, um, but I typically had a Mystic Code, but that's, again, because I had Kaleidoscope, I had a fallback and all that stuff, and it made it much easier and stuff like that. This kind of fixes that, for sure. Especially giving NP and the 50% NP generation rent being stayed is really good, and if you're ever in a situation where Dantes has to actually fight, the ability to just remove buffs uh, when you're critical attacking, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Uh, okay, so very good buff, glad to hear, it's glad that it's here. I, my Dantes, I'll make sure to give it to him immediately, as soon as it's in the game. Uh, and then there's gonna be two Melty Blood type Lumina Evo Selection Celebration quests added. This is for the... Yeah, this has to be... Okay, this was what unlocks here. Unlock Melty Blood type Lumina Evo 2022 quest and the 2023 quest. Okay. And it requires rare prisms. I guess it's if you miss the date, you'll be able to just buy them in the shop and that's pretty easy. And you, here's also the craft essence for that first one from 2022, so you'll be able to get this one as well. And here's the banner. You can see it's pretty different from what they got over on the JP side, because on the JP side, when they had this campaign, it had these three on it. Um, Artoria's still on it. Roland was on it, and then, uh, I do not say it again. Sufu. Sufu was on it. Don't remember Sufu that much other than they're kind of uh, obsessed with uh, Horseman's wife. So there you go. And then it has a bunch of mash seas, and it's a lot of good mash seas. So it's a brand new year. You got dumplings over flowers. You got dangerous beast. You got Caldea anniversary. You got sign of smiling face and Halloween arrangement. Are any of these actually good um, NPs? I think this one is Caldea anniversary. I mean, it's nice, because it has a starting NP 50%, but none of them that really come to mind as stuff to have. But to be honest, I don't actually know, outside of the, the big ones, how useful certain CEs are. Dangerous Beast is nice, though. I think I have this one max on limit broken. Never used it once. Hmm. That has never really come up outside of Halloween when it was used for grinding. But I do have it max on limit broken. Anyway. Here's the banner that we're going to be getting. It has Ushi Wakamaru and it has Artoria on it. Um, Ushi Wakamaru is a non-limited 3. You should already have NP5 Ushi Wakamaru. She comes with your Fago. It's very easy. If you're pulling here because you love Ushi Wakamaru and you're saying, Damn, I can't wait to get my 3-star Ushi to NP5. I'm going to summon on this banner. Don't. Just don't. You can just literally wait. It'll be fine. And Artoria herself is a fucking fantastic, uh, AoE saber. Like, the amount of damage she does is kind of insane. Um, she has an ability. It, it, it's funny because she still has original charisma, so there still are some abilities to buff, like this charisma buff. That's anyone who has charisma. The thing that makes her crazy is this, uh, second skill right here, Dragon Reactor Core B. Increases own buster performance for one turn, increases own MP damage for one turn, and then changes all own command card type to buster for one turn. It's hilarious. She may have a buster, buster, arts, arts, and quick, but she can just have all these cards and just have a straight up five buster hand. <laughs> or more likely than not, you have one buster and a quick, and you're just like, you know what would be better if that quick was a buster real quick, and you can just deal insane damage. And if you're wondering, like, oh man, um, what if I want to have this arts card because it can help me gain a little bit of MP gain if I'm attacking. If I don't finish killing the enemy, I can at least use the arts card to get some NP. It's fine because her Noble Phantasm charges her own NP gauge as well. 
And then she also has a third skill, which, no, in the second skill, it gives, uh... No, no, yes, it's the third skill. Charges her own MP gauge by 30%. So that means, at MP1, you get 20% MP back. And then you get, from this third skill, you get 30%. So that makes it very effect effective to use with Vich, because it's not that hard um, to get her to 50% in that way. Uh, and this is only on a cooldown of 5, it's very easy to do. It's very, very easy. She's a fantastic uh, AoE Saber. Uh, at least on NA side, I would consider probably one of the best. But to be fair, I don't have every single AoE Saber in the game. But I think she's really good. And she's really neat, and it's a very nice comeback story for a unit who was bad for very, very, very many years in Fugo. So if you definitely want her, I can understand summoning for it. I really wouldn't, but you know what? Some people just want Saber, and I support you. Good luck to you. And yeah, that's it. The campaign should start on the 3rd, which is going to be at... Uh, mm, yeah, should, is, it, is it today? No, it's tomorrow by the time this video releases anyway. And yeah, that's it. That's it for today, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm still getting used to being home from Vegas, so give me a couple seconds before I get back into the groove of releasing stuff again so I can get back to it and continue with having the good times and the fun making videos. But that's it for today. Good luck to you if you end up summoning. Uh, if you're at EVO for Vegas, you just literally missed me at Vegas. But if you somehow are listening to this and you're going to EVO to sign up for Melty Blood, good luck to you. Hopefully you win. Hopefully we get some more announcements for Melty Blood. It would be nice to get some more DLC announcement. Mainly because it's all free. Uh, hmm? Is there a DLC coming? Who's the final two uh, that they've announced? They haven't announced them. Who could it be for Melty Blood? Who is the hinted characters at the end of the Fago story for Melty Blood? Alright, I'll have to just actually do the video myself and <laughs> finish the Fago story because I think I still need to do two more, right? Damn. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.